Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to give you a few ideas and a few tools on, well basically helping you to find the names for items uh, that you, you would want to modify in your types.xml file on your DAISY Notrado private server. So in other words, if you want to increase the quantities of something on your server, how do you find the name of it? Because some things just aren't obvious at all and you could go hunting hunting around from there's a few different ways of doing it there's no perfect way that i found yet so this is my types.xml file um and um i'd recommend you edit this in something like uh, notepad plus um, plus um because it's nice and easy to, to everything gets color coded and you can see stuff and you, you could even even in here you can find stuff so you could do go control f and you could say you wanted to increase the number of um the fuel cans on your server you think okay so maybe they call it fuel so you could search for that okay so can't find the text fuel okay so it's not that so then you go i'll tell you what okay maybe petrol do they call it a petrol can no they don't call it that okay let's try can and then you're like oh wait a minute book the can to be tales book candied tuna can open tuna can tactical bacon can you're like oh, okay so that's not really working okay so we can't find it that way so like, oh, okay so then you could go to google and put in you know what is the daisy item name or class name for a fuel can and that might tell you probably won't but it might tell you so the next thing you could probably do is if you use mr x13415's daisy editor if you download it from github you can actually fire it up um, and you can load in your types.xml file and your types.xml file, it lists everything that's in your types.xml file, not secret stuff that isn't in there already. It has to already be in there, but, but it'll have loads of stuff. And you can change the category of items, and you can do stuff in alphabetical order. And you can just simply look through this. So you could change the category, and then you can look through, and you can go hunt, 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 hunt. And then if you spent the time, you can tell I've already done this, you come across canister gasoline, and you're like, oh, Okay, yeah, brilliant. So it's gasoline. So if then if you then went back to your types.xml file, control F, and you could put gasoline. And there it is. Type name canister gasoline. We could change the nominal, increase it. You know, I've got up mine to 70. Um, and uh, that would uh, that would spawn in what we got a minimum of 50. Um, so yeah so again you could find you could find something that way not nice and easy now another way that you could do it as well is go to uh where is it this page here the daisy class name dump and what i'll do is again i'll put a link to this in the video description down below now what this includes is hopefully the names of everything that's actually in the game including stuff that doesn't work and so it includes stuff that isn't in your types.xml file that you could add if you wanted to. So let's let's have a look. So let's go around. So what well, we got gear gear related class names dot text. So if we if we click on this, you see it starts off at the top and it says camping gear, and you've got the names of all the items. So we've got camo net, sea chest, underground stash is an item you could spawn. Strange. That's probably just like the the um the the way that the dirt is 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 on the on the top of the ground consumables paper bandana duct tape small stone firewood battery nine volts and you can just look for this and go oh wolf pelt okay so you can spawn in a wolf pelt if you wanted sheep pelt a mouflon pelt whatever that is fox pelt tanned leather now remember some of these things that aren't actually in your types xml file they might not work <laughs> right so you, you need to be careful with things like that. Containers are all there. Cooking are all there. Crafting. Cultivation. Uh, so just keep going. Let's keep going. So, for example, under drinks, we've got vodka for the vodka bottle. You could spawn in the vodka bottle. Got loads of uh, edibles. Medicals. So, for some reason, under medical, there you go. You've got the names for the cigarette, right, cigarette packs that you can spawn in. You can't actually do anything with them, but you can have them as an item. Navigation, so there's the maps, uh, tools, and then you've got different traps, bear trap, landmine trap, small fish trap, again, it probably doesn't work, but you could spawn it in. Weapons, let's have a look at the weapons. So if you look at the weapons, for example, 
if we go past the magazines, muzzles, optics, supports, archery. Here's the bows, PVC bow, quickie bow, recurve bow, crossbow. Again, these probably don't work in the game, but you could spawn them in if you wanted to. And just by looking through these lists, they've got the Grozer. Again, that one definitely doesn't work, but again, you can spawn them. But just by looking through these lists, that will then give you an idea of you know of what you're looking for as well. And you've also got the um, Daisy Wiki, which has got lists of of loot. Unfortunately, they don't always give you, well, very rarely do they give you um, actual names of stuff. Why is that doing that? Types of loot. Equipment. Weapons temporary. Looks like this is broken, actually. Isn't it working properly? Types of loot. Equipment. Oh, you've got to spawn. You've got to go down, haven't you? So there we go. So, for example, if you click on pair, unfortunately, it, I mean, it probably is. The name is probably pair. Gives you lots of other information, but it would be very nice if it gave you a little line that said, you know, name in types file, but it doesn't. So, there we go. Hopefully there's some good ideas there for you to help you find the names of things. So you can edit your types.xml and you can just use in something like Notepad++ and you can use the control F just to look for things. Um, you could download the DAISY editor and you can scroll through all the names here and look for things like that. You can go to the class dump on GitHub, again links, and then you can just look through just lists of names and think, oh yeah, I fancy doing that. And finally, you can look through the Daisy Wiki, but unfortunately, again, they don't always give you the net, that they don't give you the types that XML knows, but it can give you an idea of what you could actually look for as well. I guess what we really need is something like some sort of spreadsheet. Um, to bring it all together nice and neatly, so you could just put gun um, and then it would have lo have all the different options. It kind of does that in the Daisy editor because you can you can sort stuff into categories like weapons. But again, another problem is things like ammo gets gets mixed in and stuff like that. Anyway, hopefully this has been useful. If it has, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.